Hey guys, this is Nick. The year 2020 has been the most chaotic year of the last few decades, and all of us can agree on that. Today we're rounding up the top 10 best PC games of the year 2020. And yes, the video features a countdown, and we have our pick for the best game of the year on number 1. And without further delay, let's start with our number 10. Fall Guys it is a platformer battle royale game which draws inspiration from game shows like Takeshi's Castle, It's a Knockout, and Wipeout, and other playground games like Tag and British Bulldog. Up to 60 players compete in matches with a battle royale style gameplay. Players, represented as jelly bean-like figures, move around a three-dimensional playing field with additional moves such as jumping, grabbing, or diving to assist gameplay. The game is to qualify for subsequent rounds by successfully completing each of the randomly selected minigames. Certain minigames involve running towards the finish line at the end of the map, while others add elements of teamwork. On every minigame, obstacles appear around the map for added complexity. Players who are too slow or fail certain requirements for a minigame are eliminated. On the final round, the remaining few players compete in a final match with a randomized minigame designed for a smaller player size. The winner of the match is the last player standing. Players can purchase cosmetics and emotes for their character to show off in-game. Number 9. Doom Eternal This Doom game is really shaping up to be one hell of a sequel. While the action-packed game suffered from a few hiccups in the previous hands-on sessions, our most recent session left any concern in the dust. Doom Eternal is blood-pumping, gore-packed, fun, and it's certainly not as mindless as its predecessors. In the best possible way. Those who were frustrated by the delay will certainly not be disappointed. The gameplay is full of adrenaline-fueled action with plenty of weapon and upgrade choices and RPG elements. It's worth noting that Doom 64 is narrative may not like this that much. Also, the story can be confusing for those who haven't played the others. Overall, it's a very strong game, pushing action shooting to its limits. Number 8. Valorant it is a very anticipated, free-to-play, multiplayer, first-person shooter developed and published by Riot Games. It is a 5v5 team-based tactical shooter and first-person shooter set in the near future. Players join either the attacking or defending team, with each team having five players on it. Agents have unique abilities and use an economic system to purchase their abilities and weapons. The game has a variety of weapons including sidearms, submachine guns, shotguns, machine guns, assault rifles, and sniper rifles. Each weapon has a recoil pattern, which has to be controlled by the player in order to shoot accurately. The game has been criticized for its anti-cheat software, Vanguard, and launched a bug bounty program to offer rewards for reports that demonstrate vulnerabilities with the software. Number 7. Half-Life Alex. Half-Life Alex is not Half-Life 3. It's a brand new Half-Life game for virtual reality devices. And while not Half-Life 3, it's still pretty exciting and one of the biggest titles of 2020. And yes, it's finally releasing this March. The game will retail at $60, but it's free to anyone who owns a Valve Index VR headset. Also, to celebrate its launch, Valve is making all other Half-Life games free on Steam until Alex launches. It's Valve's biggest project yet, tested on several VR setups. Few facts worth noting. All the guns are one-handed in-game. It's the first Half-Life with a voiced hero. G-Man and other old characters return. Alex will have gravity gloves instead of a portal gun. And there will be head crabs. You can play it with any PC-based VR headset. If you don't own any VR, well, you can still enjoy the whole Half-Life collection free on Steam. Number 6. Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition It is an action role-playing game played from a third-person view. Players take control of Alloy, a hunter who ventures through a post-apocalyptic land ruled by robotic creatures to uncover her past. Alloy can kill enemies in a variety of ways, setting traps such as tripwires using the tripcaster, shooting them with arrows, using explosive, and a spear. Alloy can dodge, sprint, slide, or roll to evade her enemies' advances. Upon killing machines, they drop machine components including electricity and the metal. 
which are vital to Alloy's survival. She can loot their remains for crafting resources such as ammo, resource satchels, pouches, quivers, resistances, antidotes, traps, and much more. Weapons have modification slots for dealing more damage. Alloy wears a focus, a small headpiece that scans machines to determine their susceptibilities, identify their locations, their level, and the nature of the loot they will drop. Horizon Zero Dawn is praised for its open world, story, visuals, combat, characterization, and awesome gameplay. Number 5. Cyberpunk 2077 it is a first-person open-world role-playing video game developed and published by CD Projekt. The game is one of the most sold video games on Steam this year. In Cyberpunk, you play as V, a mercenary whose voice, face, hairstyle, body type and modifications, background and clothing are customizable. The perk tree branches into melee, blades, handguns, shotguns, rifles, sniper rifles, hacking, two-handed combat, assassination and much more. You can upgrade and purchase cyberware implants, and black markets offer military-grade abilities. In-game, you can take cover, aim, run, jump, double jump, and slide. There are three types of ranged weapons, all of which can be customized and modified. Weapon use increases accuracy and reloading speed, which are manifested in characters' animations. The game can be completed without killing anyone, with non-lethal options for weapons and cyberware. Number 4. Microsoft Flight Simulator As the name suggests, it is a flight simulator game where you can pilot airplanes and fly anywhere in the world. This is the knockout blow for anyone on the fence about it so far, literally anywhere in the world. The whole planet is mapped and modeled ready to be flown across from tens of thousands of airports. This being a Microsoft game, it simulates the entire Earth using textures and data from Bing Maps. You can fly to every single airport in the world too, all 37,000 of them. To pull off this feat, the studio is using a combination of Bing satellite imaging and a whole lot of manual work. On top of seeing other players in the world, Microsoft Flight Simulator will simulate real daily air traffic across the world. You can choose to filter out non-realistic pilots in multiplayer. The weather system runs deep here. Clouds cast shadows over landscape below and over each other. The game has the best graphics and detailing we have ever seen across any game on any platform. Number 3. Hades it is a roguelike action role-playing video game where the player controls Zagreus, the son of Hades, as he attempts to escape the underworld to reach Mount Olympus. Each run challenges the player through a random series of rooms populated with enemies and rewards, and the player uses a combination of their main weapon attack, dash power, and magic ability to defend themselves while avoiding damage, to progress as far as possible. Upon starting a run, one of the Olympians will provide a gift, a choice of three persistent boosts for that run that a player can select. The gifts are themed based on the Olympian. After clearing a room, the player will be shown the type of reward that they may earn if they complete the next room. You can also interact with the various characters of the underworld which provide narrative elements to the game but may also provide quests with additional rewards. If Zagreus' health points drop to zero, he dies and ends up facing his father, removing all gifts granted from the last run. Number 2. Genshin Impact the most recent hit game of 2020, Genshin Impact, is an action RPG game that is very similar to Zelda Breath of the Wild in terms of presentation and gameplay. The game features a massive open world full of quests and chests. In-game, you can climb any mountain, swim any river, and glide all over the world. The game's anime-style visuals are top-notch, and you will love to explore in-game just to look at amazing landscapes. The game focuses on exploration, character leveling, and quests primarily but it has many other features like co-op with friends and dungeon clearing. There are seven elements in game which you can combine to unleash elemental reactions. There are 23 characters as of now, and each comes with their own unique personalities and abilities. The environment stuff such as lightning and weather all change naturally over time, changing many details of this world. Overall, this free-to-play game is simply the best gacha game ever made. And that number one, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It is an open-world action RPG set in 873 AD. The game recounts an alternative history of the Viking invasion of Britain. 
The player can choose either a male or a female character and is able to customize hair, war paints, clothing, armor, and tattoos. The variety of weapons available to the player has been expanded to include weapons such as flails and greatswords. Combat has been changed to allow dual wielding of almost any weapon, including shields, and every piece of gear that the player collects is unique. There is more focus on the stealth aspects for both traversing the game world and in combat. You can hide from enemies not only in stationary environmental objects, but can pull down your hood and slip into certain crowds to use them as a cover. You can use a raven to scout and distract guards, and can access a hidden blade for near instantaneous assassinations. Through specific combinations of approach, tactics, and weapon selection, you can assassinate any boss through a single attack. And that wraps up our list for best PC games. If you have something to share, write us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more awesome game compilations in the future. See you next time.